Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the United States Grand Prix and we start off today with a short um, invitational around the Bahrain short circuit in the Ferrari F2017 and literally all we had to do here was um, overtake four cars in three laps. So um, yeah, we're just going to show you here the highlights of myself overtaking those cars but um, yeah, I, it was pretty easy to be honest. Pretty easy. I was never really under too much doubt although I didn't actually find the last three cars until the final lap so I, I was a little bit panicking um, but you know you get plenty of fuel in these things so just chuck it up to Rich and I think this is my favorite overtaking spot here like the cutback uh, into this uh, left hander here and then we just um, come out the final corner and um, around the outside for the final overtake but um, enough with that guys let's jump in to the United States Grand Prix and um, we're going to start off here with the track acclimatization test and you will notice as well I have decided to change the view I've had enough cockpit view I was really struggling for a start around here so I switched it up to um, airbox mode which is what I always used to drive with so um, I'm going to use this from now on but um, as you can see so far in the tests in practice we are in the red red zones uh, not really doing very well at all with this and um, we did manage to get a green though here on the track acclimatization uh, sorry not track acclimatization, the race pace uh, test sorry what am I talking about track acclimatization we did that like long ago uh, this is the quality pace and we did start, finally start to get into a groove. I've, I've started using a new setup base for each track, uh, like a, just a generic stock setup, and then I'm adapting it like track per tracks, and I feel like it's given me a lot more pace, a lot more confidence, and uh, yeah, this is where I kind of started to do it. Um, moving on to qualifying though, and it was a wet qualifying here with the intermediate tires, and uh, our first lap here was a P5. As we come across the line here, it is uh, we stay in P9, we got knocked down to P9 during that lap. I just kept going out and doing more and more laps to try and get some, some laps in in this um, wet session. Third lap, we come across the line, we improved to P10 with a 158, I think that says. Yeah, 158. So we get a massive lock up into turn one. And lap five, I think it's probably my last qualified lap. What do we do here? We improved by nearly a second. Uh, but it's only a 155. It was a 156 pretty much. Like 155, which puts us P10 uh, in the session. But I think we got it pretty wrong here in uh, turn one. We just put the power down too early uh, over the curb as well. Yeah, just too early into the barrier. And that was the end of qualifying. So um, not a very good session. But anyway, let's head over to David Croft and see the lineup for the race. Let's run through the grid order. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo and Massa, Hulkenberg, Alonso, Stroll and Max Verstappen. A Haas, Palmer, Pascal Wehrlein and Ericsson. Van Dorn, Sainz, Esteban Ocon, and Daniel Kvyat. Grosjean and Sergio Perez rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. It's a steep incline into turn one that'll help you screw speed off. There are multiple lines, so be sure to make use of them. So despite not having a great qualifying, we are going to start the race in 11th place. I think six drivers had a penalty. We're getting to that stage of the season where people are starting to take penalties um, for engines and gearboxes and such things. So um, yeah, we have made a six position gain on the start, uh, which means I think if my maths are right, we should have qualified in 17th originally. Anyway, uh, playing around with the strategy here, I decided I was going to do a reverse strategy again as it's worked out quite nice for us in a few races. So we're going to start off here on the super softs, moving on to the ultra softs at around lap eight, which hopefully gives us a nice bit of pace in the latter part of the race. Anyway, on the grid, the lights are coming on. It's five red lights. And away we go. Man, those lights were on for a long time. But we have got away off the line. Um, nice clean start. Seems like Alonso got a little bit slow. Palmer is coming up our inside here. But into the braking zone, we break and um, turn into the corner. And um, there's contact between ourselves and Palmer. And um, we've got a Williams coming up down the inside here. But we managed to hold it in the line and enter the fast sweeping corners. As Jeff lets us know, we have no rich mix, which isn't what you want on the start of Grand Prix because you want to try and pull away. We'll look at the start again in a moment. But um, yeah, five places gained off the start 
and um, just trying to settle into a groove. We didn't really take the fast corners um, very well. We was massively offline, but um, yeah, we, we're losing ground to Ricardo, but we haven't got anybody chomping at our bit behind us. Um, so yes, just need to try and get into a rhythm now. We are on the slower tyres compared to everybody else around us, and this is probably where we're going to struggle if we've got no rich mix. If we haven't got no rich mix and Palmer starts to catch on the strip slipstream and he's running rich mix, as you can see here, he's gaining on me quite um, quite a bit. As we take it nice and cautiously into the braking zone, actually hit a bit of wide and Palmer has a look, but decides to pull out of it in the end. Um, but yeah, we're being quite tentative at the moment around the opening stages of the USA Grand Prix. Need to try and find a bit of a, a flow, which will probably come in like a couple of laps once... Um, we we uh, got a couple of laps and are about and the track has rubbed in a little bit and we've lost a little bit of fuel. We'll then maybe start to um, pull away. Um, this has always been a, a good section for me throughout the weekend. I seem to be able to pull a little bit of um, time away from the the AI, but I'm always slow into the last corner. I feel and they're they're always gaining their time back. But anyway, we're through lap one as we cross the start finish line in sixth position, and um, we can now start to settle down into the rest of the race. It's such a nice feeling when you hook those corners up really nicely as well. I took the first one a little bit too... Um, I, I cut it a little bit. I went over the orange strip. Uh, you can actually hear the bottom of my car rubbing over the, that orange strip as I crossed it. But when you hook that up really nicely, it is such a nice section of corners to take um, here in Austin. But um, let's grab another look at the start. Everybody gets away quite nicely. Actually, I pulled across here in front of Palmer. We're alongside each other. And I break a bit later... I think I've got enough space over Palmer and then me and Palmer just make contact. I don't know if we made contact with the Williams there. We'll see here from another angle in a moment. As we jump on board here with Palmer, um, yeah, we kind of give him a little bit of a squeeze and then we, we're, we're really ahead of him. We turn in and he just, he's got nowhere to go and he tries to turn into the corner and he just ends up driving straight into the side of us. I think that's Palmer's fault. As we jump on board here with Lance Stroll, what are we going to see here? Let's have a look. So this is in front of us at the moment. He's behind the other Renault here of Hulkenberg. And yeah, that's just looking at it from uh, his point of view. I don't think we made contact with the Williams as we look on board here with Hulkenberg. No, we, I think we avoided contact with Massa. So that was, that was good as we, we ride on board with Massa. We'll see for sure here. Yeah, I've done a lot of angles with this. Uh, you'll, you'll find out why later in the video. But yeah, Massa, he just gets pushed out wide. There's no contact between me and Massa. So, um, anyway, let's move on, shall we? As I'm trying just to show here who was um, at fault. But um, on to lap three. We have started, we have totally lost Ricardo, but we, have, we are well out of um, DR, well, I say well out of, just out of DRS range of Palmer. So we are starting to build a bit of a gap by the end of lap four. Following lap, lap five, and uh, Massa has actually got ahead of Palmer, and I think they've been doing a bit of squabbling. There's a bigger gap now between back two from me to Massa. We've now got a two-second gap, so got a nice little comfortable buffer at the moment, especially since we're on the slow tyres. I guess um, as well, they're squabbling and their tyres are maybe starting to go off, so um, it's really helping our battle right now. And this is lap six, and a few of the guys in front of me have started to pit. Ricardo is in the pits as is Hamilton and Vettel. So that promotes us to a P3 now on lap seven as our teammate Roman Grosjean also pits at the end of that lap. Roman has just entered the pit. And this is the following lap, lap eight, as the rest of the field decide to make their stops, which um, gives us the lead of the USA Grand Prix. Can you believe it? We are leading a race. I think it's not going to be um, too big a lead, though. As you can see, Raikkonen and Bottas there are um, coming out of the pits uh, right behind us, so we've not really got. Um, oh, sorry, it's Vettel, Vettel and Raikkonen. Sorry, uh, yeah, they were right behind us. But um, anyway, lap eight, and um, I think this is the time where I decide we are going to dive into the pits. As you can see, I haven't really got a great 
lead over Vettel at this point of the race. So um, I know I, I'm not going to hold out. He's right on my um, he's right on my gearbox actually as we come into the pits. Um, so yeah, I'm very cautious into the pit lane. I still need to work on my pit entries, but um, hopefully we can get out in front of Massa. Um, it was quite. It, we had a two second gap when we came into the pits, but it depends what sort of outlap Massa has had. The gap was 21 seconds at the previous split as um, we head on out of the exit. I can't see him on the map, which is good. Oh, here he comes, just over the start finish line, so it's going to be a drag race up to the uh, first corner, but um, we have got plenty of room and space to get out in front of Massa, so we just need to concentrate on these ultra soft tyres and take the make most of them to pull out a gap as we see on board here with Massa he's just coming down the start finish straight as we emerge from the pit lane so um yeah I think there's probably about the same amount of gap at the moment as there was when the all the pit stops started happening but uh other than that it was just a case of settling down Massa did kind of gain on me a little bit this is lap nine and the gap is just a single second so, um, yeah, he was definitely making inroads on me at this point in the race. But, um, no, there wasn't really anything else that happened in the race, which is why I kind of took so many different angles of that um, first corner there. Uh, as we come over the line in lap 12, we have pulled a little bit out of ma over Massa. We're nearly up to two-second gap. But, yeah, I took so many angles of that first corner because literally nothing else happened the whole race. Um there was a retirement at some point. I can't remember who it was that retired. Oh, it was um, Raikkonen. I'm sure it was Raikkonen. Raikkonen retired, I'm pretty sure, because we have been promoted to P5, something I missed when I was uh, creating the edit, so I apologise for that. But, yeah, we just literally settled down into a groove, pulled even bigger margin over Massa, and it was just really comfortable for the rest of the race. It was, it, it was a pretty boring race, if I'm completely honest. Um... I say not a lot happened. Uh, our rich fuel did come back to us at one point, and we were just wasn't really pushing that much on this lap at all. We were just like taking it nice and slowly, just trying to preserve the engine a little bit. Um, I was quite conscious of where Massa was, so you know, I knew that um, if we needed to, we could push that extra bit harder. But uh, yeah, we got such a gap over Massa at this point, it's um, not really in question as to what the result is going to be. And that was the USA Grand Prix, guys. Let's say, um, it was a pretty simple race after the abomination of qualifying. And, uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, it was such a boring race. It was, nothing really happened, was never really challenged too much. I mean, coming up to my pet stop, Vettel was, like, really on the back of me and closing me down a lot. But, um, I wouldn't ever say he put me under pressure. I was never in a, in a position where I was having to defend against him. I was just driving my normal line, and he was just gaining on me on the fresher tyres, so... Yeah, as we come into the final section of the the track, another section around the track here that if you get the line right, it can be you can take so fast. There's some really nice fast corners around Austin. Um, really, really like them. Really nice track. As we come round the final corner here and across the line to take a good fifth position in the American Grand Prix. So Sebastian Vettel has won the race with Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton completing the podium. Daniel Ricciardo fourth, ourselves on fifth, and our teammate was down the order, unfortunately, in 13th position. As we look at the driver's standings as they are at the moment, Lewis Hamilton retains his lead at the top with Bottas in second and Vettel in third, taking over Kimi Raikkonen, who got his DNF. We move up to seventh position, and Roman Grosjean moves down to tenth. Looking at the constructors, uh, it's all as you were, and we retain our fourth place with um, quite a nice lead now over Force India. We have a 36-point uh, gap to Force India at the back there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back real soon with the Mexican Grand Prix, a brand new Grand Prix for me. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.